Hi, Wild Smart Ambassador Sandy here in my garden getting ready to do cleanup and garden work and all the rest of that. And I mean, it's just wonderful. Now that the weather is great, it's just wonderful. Unfortunately, I had some reminders of the ungulates that were walking all over my garden during the winter. Ungulates, deer, and elk. Aside from their footprints or tracks that they leave in my garden, which is no big deal, they also leave behind other reminders that they were in my garden. And that is their poop or their scat or their droppings. And I got a lot of it. So what do I do with it? Do I leave it? Do I, do I pick it up? But what do I do with it? Well, I've got some advice for you. One, don't leave it, okay? Ungulate droppings are, is notorious for having a lot of pathogens in them, including E. coli. And that is not good for you, the gardener, working in, the, in your garden with all this around you. It's not good for your kids that are playing in your garden, and it's not good for your pets. Not only that, with warmer weather and either watering or rain, there, it's gonna to start to smell. And it will attract every other animal in the world to your garden and they will take the potential pathogens back to their homes and you're going to have more droppings okay so you want to get rid of this stuff so what do you do with it well you can compost it however you have to do it safely and to do it safely means you need a hot composting system that means that your composter has to have an internal temperature of minimum 60 degrees centigrade or 140 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't reach that, you're not going to kill the pathogens. So what, how do you make compost? If you have one of those systems, you gather this stuff up and you wear a mask and you wear disposable gloves to do this. And you really do need to wear a mask for this because you're disturbing these things are going to break off and you're going to have air par particles floating around and if you start breathing those in you're going to get sick so don't wear a mask and disposable gloves so you take the the droppings and you put them in your composter and you put in your thermometer and you bring it up to 140 or 60 degrees that's maintained day and night and you let it sit there once it's reached that temperature, you let it sit for five days. At the end of five days, you mix it all up so that the stuff that was on the outside is now on the inside of the composter. So it gets heated, okay? And once it comes back up to 140 or 60, again, you count five more days. Then you can dismantle your compost, take, take the material out. Is it good to put in your garden yet? No. It is still not safe enough to put in your garden. You have to take that compost and put it in a spot in your garden that you don't go into, your kids don't go into, and animals can't get at, okay? And it has to sit between two months to four months. Two months if it's a warm climate, four months I would say for us is pretty safe. Then you can use it. So if I made this into compost today, I would be able to use it in the fall. To, to replenish uh, nutrients in my garden. I, you can't use it right away. Okay, ungulate dropping manure is much different than the bag manure or compost that you buy from the garden center. Those commercially produced um, bags of, of manure have been processed and at high temperatures to kill off any pathogen that is dangerous to you, your kids and pets. So it's safe for you to use that material. This is raw manure and it has live pathogens in it that are dangerous to your health. And finally, the next suggestion I have is the one that I use. I can't have a composter in my, in my uh, property. It's not sunny enough and hot enough in my backyard to, to do it. So what do I do? I wear a mask. I have disposable gloves, I have compost bags, and I have two old stir sticks from painting. And what I'm going to do is I am going to pick up the droppings 
one at a time, put it into a compost bag, and then I throw it out. And that is the safest thing for you to do if you don't have a hot system composter. Now, even if you don't have elk or, or deer in your garden, you may have rabbits, and it's the same thing, only smaller poo. So, what do you do with ungulate poo? Compost it properly, or better still, throw it out and let the pros compost it commercially. Always be wild smart, especially in your garden.